Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and for today's video I will give you the tips on how to pass to your CSSNC2 assessment. Number 1. Always attend your CSSNC2 classes. Number 2. Always jet down important notes discussed by your instructors. Number 3. Always participate on actual activity. Number 4. Always ask your instructor if you don't understand or confuse to the topic in actual activity. Number 5. You must know how to set up or connect hardware devices to each other. Like monitor, switch, router, system unit and etc. Number 6. You must know the parts and function of system unit. Number 7. You must know the differences between static and dynamic IP address. Static IP address is manually input while dynamic IP address automatic or no need to input. Number 8. You must know the two types of LAN cable and color coding. The two types of LAN cable is crossover and straight through cable. Crossover cable is different color but used in the same devices while straight through is same color but used in different devices. And the two types of color coding is the T568A and T568B. The colors under T568A are, white green, green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown and brown. The color under T568B are, white orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, white brown and brown. Number 9. You must know the reasons why there is no network connection. These are the things to remember if you encounter no network connection. First. The Windows and server is not in the same work group. It should be in the same work group. Second, the firewall is turn on. You must turn off the firewall. Third, the IP address you input is incorrect. You should input correct IP address. Last, the network discovery and advanced network sharing settings is turn off. You must turn it on. Number 10, you must know how to use command line. Number 11, you must know how to connect Windows to server. Number 12. You must know where to check if your Windows and server doesn't connect. Number 13. You must know how to do disassemble and reassemble system unit. Number 14. You must know how to maintain and repair the error you will encounter. And number 15. Don't be nervous. Focus.